Hello all. Uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, a couple of programs. Uh, one that will help um, a bit with your startup time in uh, Linux. It could be Ubuntu Linux or any other distro. This will work. It's uh, called Prelink. It's a very small file to download. And it, uh, what it does, uh, Prelink is a program that modifies ELF um, executable and uh, linking format of shared libraries and dynamically linked binaries in such a way that the time needed for the dynamic linker to perform reallocations at startup significantly decreases. Okay, uh, yeah, a little kind of heavy there, but just to give you an idea, I'll put the link here in the description. You should read through it. Uh, but it's fairly straightforward to use, even though it's uh, the, the manner in which it's, it's, it's explained is a little complex, or it should be anyway, um, as it should be. Uh, so there's switches you can do. So you, you have to do a sudo, and then prelink, and then uh, switches. And the common ones are A, M, and capital R. All right? Uh, one thing to keep in mind is if you have... A, very low disk space, like you know, almost out of space. Uh, you got to be careful. So always check how much space you have. If you have a, if you have some like a system monitor, look at your file system, and check how much space you have. Like there, here's there's plenty here. Another way to do that is to open your terminal and uh, type in dh dash f. Oops, I'm sorry. DF-8. Disk free. My mistake. So you can see the first device that's uh, for Linux, the root, is you can see how much it is used in percentage and how much is available. And then your home file system. But mostly the root you want to look for. Okay? So simple enough to install. You can run a sudo apt-get install and just prelink it will download and install and it'll if you read through the what it's doing it'll say it'll um, process for the uh, uh, read ahead module and stuff for startup uh, so after that you do a sudo prelink dash a m capital R. Press enter and you give it some time to run. It might take a few minutes or maybe longer depending again on what you have on your system. And if you started adding stuff and things have changed uh, you might want to try to run it again but just don't run it constantly. It, it, it only uh, runs at startup anyway. But so it's not something you have to really do all the time. Just to just to, a caution there. So that uh, pretty much takes up some of uh, this. What I did was uh, I installed a boot chart program uh, then I uninstalled it <laughs> uh, and it's in v VAR uh, uh, log and boot chart. Okay uh, the first one I had was restarted was uh, I'll have to zoom in on this was uh, 42 seconds remember this is a regular hard drive mechanical hard drive um, I, I don't know I'm not sure if I'd want to do any of this stuff on a solid state I just leave things as they are but mechanical if you're using one uh, you can try this out and go back and I had variations and it went down as far as see right here where it says time 31.75 so that's not bad 42 down to 37 you might be able to trim that down a little more so that's called that's called prelink um, like I said it's easy enough to get another one is a uh, preload preloader uh, is it preload or preloader Adaptive read ahead module. Yeah, there it is. 
Okay, let's go to the software center for that. Both of these are in the software center, by the way. So, to change things up a bit, we'll go to the Ubuntu software center. If he decides to open today. There it goes. <laughs> Preload. Now, I haven't installed this, so. Uh, there it is. Adaptive. Adaptive. Read ahead daemon. Preload. So, you click on more information. Uh, preload monitors applications that users run. Being you. <laughs> it, and by erasing this data, predicts what applications users. So, it's basically like the... Uh, <clears throat> cough, um, Windows, uh, what do you call that? Super fetch, prefetching, sort of. And anyway, so might run and fetches those binaries and their dependencies into memory for faster. So the more memory you have, maybe the better or the less, I'm not sure. Note that uh, installing preload will not make your system boot faster. Yes. And that pre preload is a daemon that runs with root privileges. So it's not really much to, uh, you, you just uh, install it, that's all you do. So I'm going to install and uh, that's it, that's all you have to do. You just install it and there's no other um, commands or anything. You just let it to do its thing on each reboot and whatever you open. It'll just monitor what you're doing in, uh, you know, whatever programs you open. Hopefully they'll open a little faster. So those uh, two programs were Prelink and Preload. And let me know what you think. Uh, if you notice startup times are a little faster or do your programs load faster? Do you notice anything at all or nothing? Um, throw that into the comments and uh, uh, let me know. Okay, so that's it for this one. And thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.